Have you ever noticed how a guy with an Australian accent can get away with saying the word fuck and it sounds like polite and stuff? All right, so I'm not going to be able to do that. My name is Boyd Hemphill, and I'm here to talk about the 70-ish endpoints of highly effective S3 buckets, and I apologize to Mr. Covey. Um, the blog is uh, right there. It's 20 pages of basically a bug report to AWS. This is a rant. Hosting an S3. Hosting an S3 in 2008 was serverless before there was serverless. Before the cool kids. That makes me a hipster. Yeah, okay. So... Mr. Snape, he's going to help me, um, you know, serve with a bucket because, you know, I want to put my thing in a bucket and I even cut and paste the code coloring out of the S3 documents. It says that it should be a dot, a dash, a dash. But look there. Turns out right there in the documentation, sometimes it's a dot and sometimes it's a dash. Everyone together. Thanks, Amazon. I really hope they're watching this video. In fact, it turns out that there is no rhyme or reason to when there's a dot and when there's a dash, unless you happen to know when the regions came online, because I think it just like changed for some reason. Anyone have a guess as to why it changed? I'll give you a hint. We're going to do it together. Thanks, DNS. Right on. Now, because I'm a cool kid, I want to encrypt my bucket, right? So, of course, I'm going to be able to encrypt the bucket in which I'm hosting a website, except that, see that right there? Does not support SSL connections. Sadness. In fact, the documentation says the Amazon 3 website endpoints do not support HTTPS. For information, you need to, well, use CloudFront. What's CloudFront? CloudFront's a content delivery network because, hey, Every secure website needs to have its own CDN, right? Yeah. <laughs> Globally distributed stuff for my static five pages. That's what I need. Thanks, Amazon. All right. Now, you have to look really close, but what you're going to see is that when I go to set that up, CloudFront says, hey, you should use this endpoint. OK, CloudFront, I'll choose that, because you're telling me I should instead of what the documentation said. YOLO, right? Hey, surely AWS wouldn't put that choice there unless it was the right choice. Everyone, thanks, AWS. Thank you. You're not into this. All right. <laughs> now, I'm hosting a website. They say, optional, configure a website redirect. What? Fucking website does not have redirects, people. Optional, my ass. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Amazon. I love you, people. <laughs> and now we're going to wait. Oh, does this feel like toil to you guys? Thanks for that word, Damon. I'm going to be using that everywhere. All right. Redirects are easy peasy. Easy, of course. As soon as I saw this was easy, my spidey sense started tingling because, well, I'm a DevOps, just like Paul was saying. Okay, so I got to click a button, I got to set a you know, couple of headers, and except the only place you can find this, pay attention, this is important, is region-specific website endpoint. They don't give you examples, oh, because the examples would be different and that would be confusing. So you've got to, oh, it, but it didn't redirect. Oh, isn't that kitty so sad? <laughs> yeah, I, I'd like to say I was sad, I was pissed off. Because now the journey starts. Why are my pages not redirecting? Well, it turns out that after a whole bunch of what the fun time passes, it's only going to feel like 15 seconds, though. Thanks, Amazon. You guys are doing well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 15 seconds passes. CloudFront is a hateful beast. The Amazon choice is fucking wrong. <laughs> Instead of the thing that you pick, you need to use the canonical website. Now, if you go and you look at my slides a little bit later, what you're going to find is if you're in US East 2 and you just pattern it after that, you're fucking wrong because it's a dash, not a dot. Remember the first slide? Thanks, Amazon. All right, so let's configure encryption between the S3 bucket and the cloud itself. You know, because compliance, oh, turns out, you just can't fucking do that. <laughs> Isn't that great? Thanks, Amazon. And thanks to Sean Mouton for this is a tire fire. And notice it doesn't have HTTPS. I'm guessing because Mouton didn't want to deal with it. <laughs> All right. <laughs>